Welcome to NAB 2017 here at the ARI booth. My name is Florian Bloch and I'm heading the product management group within ARI Lighting's division. The latest innovation, respectively uh, control gear, I would like to present you today. It is the all new EB Max 1.8. It works with all the uh, HMI lampets between 575 and 1800 watt. So at NAB 2015, we proudly presented a new ballast called the EB1218. And for the first time, it came with an auto scan feature, enabling 18,000 watt discharge lamps to be operated at 1,000 hertz. And doing that was then the first time to facilitate uh, the Arimax on shootings with high frame rates. As you can see here, we have a setup with the M18, which is really popular in the US for the sake of using it in any household plug up to 20 amps. And here we have it used with the M8. You know, it's the same cable, it's the same connector, and it's now one ballast which combines it all. So it is small and lightweight as the EB575-800. First of all, no matter what the, the main frequency is, this can be operated for low noise environments at 50 or 60 hertz. We now have the possibility to run all the features off-site and control it remotely. Last but not least of those co-features is the compensation for cable losses. You know what it means if you have long cable length had to ballast between the ballast and the lamp pad. Every meter contributes with losses so you have the lower wattage and HMI lamps, the so-called divas. You need to really let them work at a certain dedicated uh, power. And if you do something different, then you dim it. So long cable means if you don't run CCL, you dim an HMI. And dimming means that you deteriorate the uh, color rendition and the light quality. And the CCL um, compensates that. We call it EB Max 1.8 for a certain reason. Max means that it has to uh, offer something in addition. What I need to emphasize is something about the auto scan feature. Auto scan allows you to let the ballast work without any additional operation to create a high quality of pictures, basically at every frame rate, 1000 frames or even um, higher. We have a clearly structured user interface here at the front panel. You know, it's key on set to have a very clear and easy status overview, which is done by the LEDs over here. By the way, we have a new one, which comes for RC. RC stands for remotely controlled. So when it's in the DMX mode, also this LED gives you this indication. In addition, of course, we have the potentiometer for the dimming, for the frequency, and which always works together, the selector for the frequency mode, and of course, always as a feedback, the display for the lamp frequency. Autoscan is now available for 300 Hertz and 1000 Hertz. So it opens up new possibilities for your uh, high-speed shooting. Of course, it comes here with the, all the LED indications showing you the status. But more, it shows you also the possibility to control the frequency mode, whether it's the low noise, the standard, or high speed. And of course, it shows you also the lamp wattage. Because as it supports four different lamp wattages, it is needed and it's key that this ballast can identify the luminaire, so the lamp head, but also the lamp. It can also make a distinction whether it's an 1800 or a 1200 or 575, 800. Now here we see the EB Max on, uh, from the back side because it was due to the small and uh, compact size of the housing not possible to integrate all the interface on the front. We have the DMX on the back side. So you can of course see the display here showing the DMX channel with the two knobs to increase and decrease the address. And we have of course in and out DMX 512 5-pin XLR. And for DMX networks, don't forget the Terminator. As I said, a clear structured interface is key to work on set efficiently. For that reason, we have all the possibilities when it comes to DMX operation. Simply put on the label and the label is on top of the ballast. So you don't need a manual or check the web page. You have it all on site. In previous models, we only could address it via DMX to switch it on and off and dim from 100 to 50 uh, percentage of electrical power. 
Now you can select the mode you worked with and also the frequency. So assuming that you work in a manual or auto manual mode where you set the frequency via the potentiometer manually. You can do that, but you can set it all now from a DMX console. Or even what we do here, we do it from uh, via an app uh, because we have a DMX wireless converter underneath integrated here. So that means for the first time, we could be able to control via an app the full functionality of this new ballast. Little details can sometimes make really the difference. And this little detail is the handle. As you can easily see, this ballast comes with a red handle. Why we did it? For a very simple reason. It is of course crucial on set, but also in the rental, to know with which gear you work. And the red handle now, it only comes with a Max series, identifies a Max ballast from everything else. So this is the EB Max 1.8. Thank you very much for watching. For more details, including prices, either you contact your local sales rep or go to re.com. Thank you very much.